Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend, J.E., and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now let's get started with seltzer waters. Now, when I started eating sushi and started going to Korean barbecue places, I drank beer. And this beer was labeled as extra dry. I didn't know what that meant at the time. And then I drank it and I found out that it had more of a crisp taste that was left in my mouth. That it, it left my, it wasn't as juicy as you would imagine a hazy, hazy IPA would be, right? Mm-hmm. So I propose that we change seltzer waters. Not all bubbles are created equal and what i want to do is create a new line of seltzer waters that have maybe light seltzer in it and Mm. very heavy carbonation and maybe somewhere in between Mm. i think we could revolutionize seltzer isn't that what um okay there's seltzer water right Mm -hmm. and there's club water which is the super bubbly but has like a little bit of lemon flavor to it i believe no, not all of it does. There's just club soda. Or there is just club soda, but it, it's like super, super bubbly soda, right? Club soda is. I don't know uh, if it's levels. They're all called different things, huh? Yeah, there's seltzer, club, and sparkling. Um, don't know what the difference really is between the three. I know club soda is very high in calories. Actually, it surprised me when I looked at what uh, uh, nutritional facts for Schweppes. But yeah, they are a lot higher in quality or calories than you would ever think. What's in it? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, right? It's like bubble and waters. What are you eating? Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, like it hit. I found this out when I was bartending because someone asked for diet club soda. And I was like, diet club soda? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, and that's when I found out, oh, club soda has calories <laughs> and like a lot, like 140 a serving. Um, is there sugar in club soda i guess there must be uh but i'm not sure but i think it's an interesting idea maybe what we could do more so i mean this is the opposite of the little story you told ahead of time i like the idea of a light carbonated beverage where it's like mostly water just straight still water but you get a couple bubbles yeah very small bubbles yeah, like very, like every like you feel it there, but it's mostly just that liquid feel you get when you just drink regular ice <clears> water. <throat> and we'll say here. for a more refreshing take. Yeah, or maybe it's gonna be more like, oh, dude. I I don't think you've ever had any of these stuff I was about to name. There's these Korean drinks. Um, one of them is called Two Percent. I guess <laughs> yeah. I guess the closest comparison I have for you here is Propel. From Powerade. Have you ever had Propel? All right. I have had Propel. Where it's like flavored clear water, right? And I think it'd be kind of like that, where the water is going to be flavorful, but with a touch of bubbles to it, like just very slightly, where it's like you feel it, but it's not really. Whereas like drinking soda is equivalent to running sand between your hands like a handful of sand to the other hand yeah this will be more like feeling like if you had like a pinch of sand from one hand to the other hand rather than a whole handful right it's not going to catch your the back of your throat the same exactly and then we'll have that for the more refreshing taste on a hot day and then we'll have another commercial where someone's eating a burger or something and then they get the extra bubbly one so they go 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 go! Ah. Oh, it's gonna be like you're gonna immediately burp. just biggest burp you've ever heard Bleh. in your life. <laughs> <laughs> probably it'll probably be both, and uh, they'll be able to feel refreshed in a now, different manner. I don't know how carbonated water works, but I'm assuming you just add CO2 to the drink and it makes it carbonated. So what we would we but do? Just put we, less? we would add a different concentration so that the bubbles would be more plentiful, where it would be smaller bubbles 
but there's more of them. And then on the other drink, we would have bigger bubbles, but there's less of them. So you'd feel the tickle, but you're getting mostly of a water sensation. Interesting. Interesting. But it does not feel flat. That's our main thing is it's not flat. There's not less. They're different. It's all based on the bubble, baby. Yeah. No, knowing nothing <laughs> about chemistry and how any of this would work. Um, I'm honestly I like the idea of it. <laughs> basing the bubble science on something that has nothing to do with soda. It's something that I learned long ago about water pipes, to be honest, that a smaller bubbles lead to smoother hits and it goes from there. So I'm thinking that we can create a new bubble proprietary technology for our drinks. Like introducing the CO2 in a different way to the yes. beverage or something? Okay, sure. Let's just say that works. What if the cans are different? So you have to pop it open in the middle, and the way you drink it is different, and that leads to the bubbles. I don't know if that actually would work. Or what if it's an hourglass shape where you open one top, and that's the liquid, and then you open up another, and it brings about the bubbles in a different way. Almost like if you remember there's a soda where you put a marble in it, and people really like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that'd be cool, but that does sound very dangerous since the the thing that's holding the compressed air could definitely explode. (laughs) Some junior high kids are about to have a lot of fun with their sodas. Yeah. Yeah. But I I like the idea of maybe, yeah, having like some kind of novelty factor to it. I don't think it actually does anything to change the function, but I think a novel bottle would work. Like maybe it's a can where you said it does open like a bottle like um some japanese sodas do it where it's a can but it's a bottle like you twist off the top it's not yeah a, it's like a twist off what about how about this the more you twist it the more co2 you introduce to your drink but if you just do uh two twists that's the lowest co2 if you do a third twist it's a medium and then a fourth twist you release all of it see i was gonna s- suggest something similar not in a way that you're presenting it because i don't know if it's possible to do it the way that you're thinking but i was thinking it'd be more like one twist it would open it up slightly another twist it would open up more so you could get more drink and so it's more of like limiting how much liquid can go through um and then that could also factor into how bubbly it feels because then you're not getting as much liquid and what if our other twist is when you open it a proprietary technology makes it so the it's a clear bottle and you see a clear can, but you see the bubbles enter the liquid. You see it happen right in front of your eyes. You As the still, air you still want to make the- this thing explosive, is what you're saying. <laughs> you want to trap the CO2 somewhere else. You know what? That <laughs> I guess taken not. Out and I blown guess up. not. Every Coke can is technically explosive already, that's, if you I mean, think about it. If you think about it, every single soda can, if you shake it hard enough, has so much compressed air, they can explode, yes. Um, okay, so. But there's not like a little it, packet of condensed air in it where you, you could extract it out and then like throw at someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to cut open the whole thing, and it's technically both connected. It's just being sealed. So then when you open it up and the first oxygen goes in, it opens it up a little bit. Maybe, maybe, okay, here we'll, we'll compromise here where it's already carbonized to a certain extent, the drink that's in the clear bottle and everything. But when you do twist it, it does unlock a small packet that gives it the visual look of having a lot of bubbles, but it doesn't add anything to the drink. It literally is there to make the effect when you open it for the first time. And that's it. You know what I mean? Like it's just a little bit of a hit to add, to activate the bubbles inside, to make it look really cool when you open it up. All right. Flavors. Honeydew. Delicious. Okay. Honeydew is a good one. Lime. My favorite. It's a classic. Mango. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Interesting. Hibiscus. Honeydew. Mango. Lime. How bad do you think a banana flavor would do on the market? Pretty bad. 
I wouldn't even <laughs> suggest it. Okay. We'll have seasonal flavors, like we'll bring in watermelon. Hot cocoa. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> um... Green tea. Like sweetened green tea or like just straight up unsweetened. What's a flavor I've enjoyed? I've enjoyed apple. Yeah. Strawberry. Strawberry is hit and miss for me. But you're right. Mm. I was thinking strawberry. That's it. We got our product line right there. Let's do it. Maybe cola. Do you think we could pull off cola? I mean, they all try. Why don't we try to? Waterloo, make this happen. Thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write in at poundgames at gmail.com. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the Pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning Make This Happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second to give us a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's Brilliant Idea. Because I've been watching so much One Piece, we are doing Pirates again. What, are we coming up with a crime racket? Nah. We're doing, we're doing something else. All right. We're selling pirate ships. All right, guys. Come over to Alex and Jay's Pirate Dealership where you can get boats, different ships, different things meant for your criminal enterprises. Store loot on here. Store people on here. There's got to be a brig. Look, there's black sales all at Alex and Jay's Pirate Ship Emporium. Check it out.